Welcome back, YouTube. Down here on another day, try these fish and see if they're still biting the spinner any. Started off with one here. Don't know how they could do. I'm trying to get in some fishing for them thunderstorms rolling this evening. Yeah. See what we got on here. Should be an old kitty cat. Man, he's headed for the bank over there, up under the boat. Whoa, he's pulling out drag. Nice kitty here. I think it's got to be a kitty. Sitting down on it. Whoa, pulling out drag again. I don't know how tight I got this drag set. Big blue. Being a nice cat. Big old blue. One day he was pulling out some drag. Man, one of the biggest blues I caught on in a while. Tear my hand. Yeah. And I left my gloves at the house. Got a pair of gloves so when I get these old catfish on here. But wouldn't you know I left them at the house there? Tide's coming in. The old brim wasn't biting too good. Whoa, here, Nelly. So we figured we would catfish a little while. Okay, yeah, Gordon, I got my pliers right here at me. I think that there will make a mess for the day if I can ever get him up there. Get him in the box there. I don't know how I get him in the box. Uh, let me work with him a minute, you two. We had to turn and twist him, but we got him in there. Now let me bait back up and see if we can catch another. 
thought it did. We caught bluegill earlier. I used him for cut bait. That tide coming in, these fish wasn't doing nothing. Seemed like you know lately they want to bite when the tide gets down some and it's going out. Or on the beetle spin anyhow, you probably catch some on crickets and worms. But we used some cut bait and throw them old catfish rods out there. I had them in the boat, I said, shucks, let's pull over and see if we can't catch a catfish. And that's what we got by throwing out and trying it. Oh, shucks. I'm hooked into something here now. Got my dip net tangled up in my other rod. That's coming to the top of the water back there. And we out here in this running water also. But if the brim don't want to bite, we'll try the catfish. Whoa, here Nelly. That's a cat, he just come to the top back there. I saw the fins. If he don't sling that hook on us. Oh, he's going against the tide now. Whoa, come back here, fella. Mmm. It's a wonder he didn't break the end of the rod. Nice blue. And he's wrapped all up in it, in the line. May he come loose now if we can. Get him in here. <sighs> GoPro start recording. Let's see if we can get him twisted and get him in this box here. There we go. Got you in there. I'm having trouble with my GoPro this morning. It don't want to cut on or don't want to work right. It took me forever to get this thing cut on that fish yet. <coughs> get that thing throwed out there and see if we can get another old cat to hit that thing. 
Uh, had a comment the other day that said they wish they could see the bite whenever I'm hooking the fish instead of just me reeling them in. But I tries, but these cameras, the batteries go dead on them so quick. So I turn the camera on and off, trying to save battery so I can get more catches in on it. And that's one reason why uh, most of the time I have the fish already hooked when I get the camera turned on, trying to save the battery. And plus I ain't one for talking a whole lot and doing a lot of talking. So try to save as much film for catching fish as what I can. Anyhow, I does what I can do. Just still hope you enjoy the videos and stuff. Hooks we're using today, I think these are seven alt circle hooks, but this one's an octopus hook. And I had to rig the line different on it to get it to where it would hook up. I had to run the line through the eye and then tie it off to the shank on the hook. Because if you tie it straight into the eye, it don't want a hook set right. I found that out the hard way. And using cut bait, I caught that last one on the body section. The first one we caught on a headpiece. I'm trying to get this hook where the fish clamps down on it, the hook will turn sideways. Well, while we waiting on the next bite, let's have us some breakfast. Got us some sardines here, and I don't know where they're from. The wifey picked them up at the Asian store. Now, I don't know if they're from Asia, Philippines, or where they're from, but we swiped them out of her cabinet, and that's what we could have for our breakfast. Yeah, we got something else on the other old rod over here. And this one's coming with the tide. He ain't pulling against us. Pulling down now, though. Whoa, here, Nelly. Hmm. He felt light that he got up in next to this boat. Come on, hook, don't come loose. Whoa, here. And it don't got him in the corner of the mouth. Whew. But we got him in. I was getting a bite on the other one over there too. I remembered to bring my gloves this morning. Put them in the boat yesterday because when we caught that one from yesterday, didn't have no gloves. Let me get this one out of hand. We'll have a look at him. Nice old blue there. 
he got some scars on him. Let's see if we can get him in the box. My boxes. Catfish are bigger than my boxes. We just did get him in there. Probably tearing all the fiberglass loose on the inside of my box. Let's bait it up and see if we can catch another one. But when the brim ain't wanting to do much, try catfish. Hey YouTube, it's about 11 o'clock and I ain't had a bite in about an hour. So the catfish is kind of knocked off. But I hear the brim popping over there around them lily pads. We might try them a little bit more the next time. Caught them the other day on that going out tide. This tide would probably be full in about another hour, probably somewhere around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock it'll be full. But hope you enjoyed. We didn't catch but two fish this morning and one yesterday morning. That wind got so bad yesterday morning. Caught that one and had to leave out, but we got two this morning. And one of them's are plenty enough for a mess of fish. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you the next time, YouTube.